Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Theresa and I am a data scientist here in Germany. In today's video, it's just gonna be a simple video. Um, we are going to talk about how to transition from your current stand to data science. Now, in my previous videos, I think the video was named My Data Science Journey. A lot of you really asked me on how to transition from data science from your current career. And I want to address that in this video. So before I start, I think I will just tell you about my story. So about my background, um, what happened. So when was my turning point? So I was a biologist and during my um, years as a biologist, I studied earthworms and spiders. So it is really very far, like my career before was really far from what I'm doing right now. So I was studying earthworms and spiders. So what I do in simple terms is that I have to identify the species using their um, morphological characteristics and also their molecular characteristics uh, or their DNA. As a biologist, I'm not sure, maybe you envisioned biologists to be staying in the lab, looking stuff under the microscope, but sometimes other biologists also go to the fields and that's my job before. So before um, I study earthworms and spiders, I go to the field to collect them. What we do is that uh, we go to the mountains, we go to the forest, like it's really a pristine forest and we spend days and nights there camping and then yeah, just waiting for the opportunity if we can see a the spider of our study or not and it was really fun so yeah we go to the forest and then we wake up early in the morning around 4 a.m just have the flashlight and then you know look around and then find um spiders so of course before we go there we also ask permit from the government to say hey we are biologists so we are conducting studies here please allow us to collect uh, specimens that we need for our studies and then there's one time we went to the forest. It was really a muddy forest and it was like very wet at the time because it was raining. And so we were walking. While we were walking, I didn't know that there's already a leech. Um, It already went into my shoes. And then I was so terrified that I really threw my shoes to my other colleague at the time. And then that was my turning point that I kind of don't like what I was doing. I mean, camping was fun. The field trip was fun. It's just that when you were there in the forest, I kind of don't like the idea of collecting spiders and killing them for my research. And it was, I'm not a fan of it. So that was one of my turning point that I was kind of like deciding, hmm, maybe it's not for me. I mean, after this, what should I do? I mean, I have a lot of questions in my mind at that time. So yeah, so once we collected the spiders, we do a statistical analysis of that. And that's actually the part that I like. So my realization at the time is that I realized that I love the analysis part, but I don't like the part where I have to go to the mountains, collect the spiders and kill them and dissect them just to analyze them. So it was not for me. I know that I needed to change my career by that time. So I was not happy. I was not fulfilled. So what I did is that I really just went to Google and then I just Google jobs in the future. And that's where I encountered IT and data science. So my knowledge in IT and data science at the time is really nothing because, of course, I don't know the field. I was trained to be a researcher. My knowledge really evolved in science. So I have no idea how to program. I mean, I've done some statistical analysis, but it was in any other tool. So it's not really like the program program that we're doing at the moment. Um, I don't want to just like deal with programming without using the knowledge that I already have at the moment. So I don't want to program only. I also want to use my scientific knowledge. So I needed to connect my current knowledge to the job that I want to do in the future. And that's where I that's why I decided to pursue data science rather than just IT. Also, um in my heart I also want to be in healthcare. So it's like a data science but more on domain specific and also my knowledge 
as a biologist is already kind of like preparing me to go in that field so my transition would not be that hard i've decided that i will pursue data science in healthcare because that's really the field that is very near to me and i just love the field as well so now in my job as a data scientist i actually work in a pharma company so i'm mostly um, focused on building a healthcare data product and mostly in that data product i am working with nlp so i am really working with a lot of scientific texts yeah my background as a biologist really helped me to analyze those scientific texts so at the moment i am in data science and it's very um, domain specific so data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods and processes and algorithms that extract um, knowledge and insights from a data. So data science is actually a combination of three main things. So that is the domain expertise. Maybe for you, your domain expertise is sales and marketing. Another field is a computer science and then math and statistics. The intersection of those three is called data science. The intersection of math and statistics and computer science is AI and machine learning and deep learning. The intersection of the domain expertise and the math and statistics is called the traditional research. The intersection of the domain expertise and computer science is called the danger zone. So by the way, this Venn diagram is from Drew Conway's and he called it the danger zone because applying an algorithm without knowing the math and statistics is a dangerous thing so of course it will give you a number if you it will give you results but if you don't know how to interpret it or you don't even know how to tweak all these algorithms that is provided to you freely or easily by just a few clicks and then if you don't know how it works in the background then that's a dangerous thing so the question that i want you to ask yourself is what do you want and where in data science field do you want to go? What is your focus area? Is it machine learning? Is it going to be NLP? Is it going to be computer vision? Do you want to go to the data visualization side of data science? Do you want to go big data, data engineering or warehousing? Do you want to do data architecture? Is it going to be or do you want to be a machine learning engineer? Or do you want to do market related data analytics? So I think asking this question will really help you guide your career because data science field is so wide. You need to have a focus area so that all the algorithms that you're going to learn is only focused to that area, if you know what I mean. I think, yeah, you have to figure out where in data science you want to go because learning it all is just too much and it's gonna take you a lot of time i think for me it's a good idea to really focus on one so for example you're a senior programmer and you already know how to program i think the the area that is really um, near for you is gonna be data engineering and their warehousing or maybe it's data architecture or maybe it's computer vision so i think these are really near for you rather than you focus to on NLP or domain specifics like healthcare or finance. So I think you have to ask that questions before you really, you know, dive in learning all of the algorithms because I think it will be very overwhelming. Yeah, that was the support question. What is your stand? What is your domain knowledge? Are you in sales or marketing? Are you engineering? Do you have a background in math? Are you already a programmer? And then determine the gap you have between your current situation and bridge it and determine which part in the data science field you are near to so for the book recommendation i will put all the books that i used for my study in the description box and the videos as well and the math and statistics that you need to learn um, i will also put them in the description box um so yeah and I hope that helped you. So first, really ask yourself where in data science you want to go and focus on that field rather than really learning um, really learning it all. So it will really take some time. This is just a rough guidance. Of course, you have to research it yourself. You have to get a feel on where you really want to go. If you still 
need more help maybe i could give you more guidance but at the moment yeah this is really the question i want you to ask yourself with and assess yourself with so that's it guys and thank you for watching and thank you also for subscribing and see you in my next video bye